Hi everybody, welcome back. Uh, this is our 371 Introduction to Video Projection Mapping. Uh, this lesson is going to be about using Photoshop in a really simple but kind of fun and effective way to kind of create um, just really fun painted video installations. You can animate things in Photoshop too, but for the most part I'm just going to be showing you how to kind of like paint a space and activate a space with light. This can be really fun for architecture or like living plants or any kind of like features in your home. As you can see, I've got my Pico projector out here again. I've connected the HDMI port and I've connected it to the side of my laptop here. In case you're wondering where to set that on the laptop itself, you come in here, you hit the little arrow button and choose source and then choose digital input and then click on that. And as you can see, my computer screen flashed for a second. And there we go. I actually have it set to mirroring right now, but you could send it over there. I, I think it's easier when you're painting with Photoshop to just do the mirroring thing. So you'll first thing you're going to want to do is create a new document. Um, for this particular projector, it's 1920 by 1080. So I'm going to do it at full resolution. Your projectors, you'd want to do seven or 1280 by 720, which is 720p. Mine's a slightly higher res version. So I'm going to go ahead and say create. Now, right off the bat, you see I have a white image up there, right? So we don't want to project white, we want to project black. So first thing I'm going to do is change my color palette to black, and then I'm going to go to edit, and uh, I actually have to create a new layer first. Hit OK on that, and I'm just going to go to edit and fill. All right, foreground color, which is black. Now, cool little thing a lot of people don't realize in Photoshop, if I hit the tab key, all my menus disappear, and if I hit F, I get those screens to go away as well, and if I hit Command-R, my rulers disappear, which is pretty awesome, right? Um, making this little bar at the top disappear, usually there's a full screen mode. Oh, there we go, F again, and now we've got full black mode on there, right? So uh, I need to go and hit F again, though, so I can see some of my menus. Let's go. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer. And then I can pick a different color. So in this case, I'll just use white. And I'm going to use my brush tool. There it is. If I right click on my brush tool, I can kind of bring that size down a little bit. I can also increase the all sorts of things. I'm going to bring my flow way up to like 100%. And now, as you can see, I can start drawing all over the place, right? So now I'll hit F again and then F again. And now, um, I want to zoom out just a little bit first, so I'm going to double click. I'm going to actually go ahead and try to fill my screen up a little bit, and then F and F. There we go. I can go just a little bit more, and now my whole screen is full. And I'll hit B to get my brush back. And then I can start painting on the wall, graffiti style, right? So I can go ahead and kind of do my initials up here, or at least put my name up here. And start to have some fun, right? And at any point, if I don't like that, I can always undo, right? And I can hit F and get my screen back and say, no, I don't want to do this in white. I want to do this in red. And instead of that soft brush, I want a hard brush, right? And I can start to do some really fun stuff. So let's do F again. And as you can see, I can start to have some a lot of fun with it. And if you know Photoshop pretty well, you know, like I do, I can hold shift and make some some red lines, and see how far I can go over there. I guess I can't go too much farther, but oh, nope, didn't want that. There you go, undo. I wanted to frame the picture, but my, I have to move the projector to get all the way over there. But I can start to have some fun, and I can start to block things out in some interesting ways and start to work with my environment. I start to kind of paint some different things. At any point, I just right clicked again. I'm gonna bring my size down on my brush. I have all sorts of like, you can download all sorts of fun brushes, but you could use whatever tools you want. You could bring photo imagery in, um, but I could bring in some of these like splatter brushes and like make random paint splatters all over the wall, which is kind of fun. There's so many things you can do. Uh, and you know, you can sort of make this look like a live performance as you go. Um, again, I could switch to black and kind of like fade a lot of this back out again. And if I was in full F screen, 
everyone would just kind of see it happening live, right? This like disintegration of everything that I just painted because I'm painting it all back to black again. So you can really have fun with it and just, you know, play to your heart's content. Now, one of my favorite things to do is to do this in tandem with a Wacom board. So I have a Wacom board set up right now. So instead of having to do it on my screen, I can sit here and, you know, draw it in myself. Or if I want to go back, right? Fade that back a little bit. And then I'll go here and go to my brushes. And let's do uh, one of these wet media brushes. Yeah, that's a good one, the cartoon. And then F again. Oh, need to change my color. I hit X to switch my colors, but you know, very quickly, I can start to draw some, you know, crazy characters up on the wall or whatever I want to have. Switch it again. So it just gets really, really fun. It's a really fun one for, again, kind of like transforming a space, painting into that space, all sorts of things. So, you know, have some fun with it. There is a timeline in Photoshop. We'll talk about it later down the road about how to make like your own animated GIFs and things like that. But I can't tell you how long uh, you can just play in a world like this and, you know, come up with all sorts of different fun stuff and uh, all from using Photoshop using that F key tab to make your your um, tools disappear or F which makes everything disappear you hit it once and then you hit it again and everything disappears and you just have the full screen to work with right so if I do that there we go I put on like a, a bright blue one and again if I want to I can change my brush again let's go down to this concept brush sounds good Oh, that one didn't work out as well, but let's try this one. Yeah, there we go. It's kind of like a crazy leaf pattern that I'm putting up on the wall. And you can blend your layers and do all sorts of fun stuff, you know. And like I said, I don't have to just paint. I could bring in imagery as well. So if I go back again and I go to file and I open, I can go to my desktop. I know I have some like imagery here that I could play with. Yeah, let's bring that one in. It's a nice pattern. I can copy that and paste it and then decide where I want this guy to fit, right? So I could fade it, play with the opacity on it, do everything that Photoshop is capable of doing, scale it, I could make that almost just like another frame that's hanging on my wall, right? Let me turn on that. And then I can move that around. Now I have two pictures hanging on my wall. One's video, one's real, and I can paint around them. So, one more option here before we start getting into video mapping software. Try Photoshop. Try just painting on the wall. Hit that F key twice. Get the black screen. Fill your background with black so you don't see any borders and just have fun or paint your couch or paint your dog while it's napping or, uh, and it's all temporary because it's just light. So have some fun with it and think of this as just another option, another kind of like low tech option. All right, that's it for now. Have fun.